Hey there, guys. Skippy here in the house with a brand new mob grinder. Yeah, boy. This is a totally unique mob grinder. Has not been done by anybody. This is as efficient as it gets. As you can tell in this world, I don't know if you can see all of it, but there is mob grinders everywhere. This is where I do mob grinder magic. I'm going to give a shout out to In Them Sugar Walls and Broton4 for hanging out with me for the day there and working on this timing circuit. Finally, Broton4's design was the best one. I think something like this that he brought up. That said, this is awesome. So let's go in here. I'm going to show you kind of the way it works is we're going to drink my night vision potion and I'm going to show you. So basically, guys, we're going to have individual tunnels here. As you can see, they empty and fill, empty and fill on a very simple circuit. You're going to need a fair amount of stuff to build this. It's totally doable in survival. I'm pretty sure your hardest task is going to be like, say, a couple stacks of repeaters. And you can see as it goes, drips out, fills up, drops off. Um, this is as efficient as it gets. If you wanted to make it higher, you could. I mean, this one here gives you level 30 in under nine minutes. Under nine minutes, you're packing level 30. And at our first test, guys, at a simple test pace, we're looking at 4,000 drops an hour. Um, and this isn't even that big, guys. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward build. So I'd like to welcome you to the Waffle Grinder. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, show you exactly what this thing does because it pumps. I'm not even going to tell you any lie. This like this has been perfected and tested in every single way. So let's go over here. Let's just give it a second to kind of fill up some love. And there you go. You're going to start seeing some beast drops. Take a look at the tube at the bottom. And then you can take a look in this right over here as well. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's just a beast. Straight beast. The Hands down, the most awesome and efficient grinder there is. Going good. Everything's dropping down. Look at it non-stop and then this way basically it is ensures they get to the bottom the fastest um i'm gonna back up a little bit there we go look at that look, look oh beast mode beast mode and they're dropping down as you can see this is super cool these mobs are just beasting up we have lava in there right now i have lava in there just because we wanted to test the drops and we want them to die but as you can see it's pretty crazy uh, it doesn't even stop. I just basically turn this on. We're looking at almost 4,000 drops an hour. Uh, they don't even go in as fast as they come. So pretty much that's it, guys. I'm going to jump over here. We're going to jump up to the top. In them sugar walls kind of mentioned, messaged me and was saying that there was a little bit of a jam sometimes in the middle. And that does happen on occasion uh, if a baby zombie goes down here. But the thing that I realized is it's not that bad because even if baby zombie locks this piston open, look at them everywhere. It's crazy. Even if he does, the with this piston locked right here, that mob just gets pushed off right away too. So let's get into this, guys. It's going to take a little while. I'm going to try to say, hey, you know, if I can get this build done in, say, an hour, an hour-long tutorial, we're going to be the champ. Um, but it is super unique, super cool. Make sure you smash that like because this, is, this thing took wheat. Look at that. Beast mode. So... I'm going to give you some ballparks here, but for this build, you're going to need about a stack of glass, depending on your tunnel. Four obsidian is going to be at the bottom because we're going to use this as a mob grinder. Not, I'll show you how to AFK it at the end, but that's not going to be part of this. Blocks of choice. Guys, at least 30 stacks, I would say, give or take more. Bring a double chest of blocks. Uh, you're going to need about two and a half stacks of repeaters, and then you're going to need 88 dispensers and 88 buckets of water. Again, not that undoable. Totally doable with your friends. Uh, five sticky pistons, two pressure plates, one sign. Six stacks of slabs, maybe a little bit more. You need to half slab everything on top of this. One redstone block, two hoppers, two comparators, and 64 dust. And before I go any further, guys, I know that you're enjoying the view right here because it's just straight beast. So my world is made for mob grinders so as you see my floor is all glass and anything where mobs can spawn i have lit up so if you want to make this to the full efficiency that it's going to be pumping at you're going to want to put this 120 blocks in the sky and not so literally you just want to put it so that no mobs can spawn anywhere within 120 blocks of this mob grinder other than inside the mob grinder so if you want to put it in the sky if you want to dig out your map if you want to do whatever you want to do guys but get ready because we're about to jump into one of the beast, most beast mob spawners you guys have seen in a long time. So get your stuff ready, smash the like, 
and let's get this bad boy going. Okay, so now that we got everything we need, basically we're gonna start off with, we're just gonna put this straight into XP farm mode. Uh, at the end, I'm gonna show you how to add a little something here to make it AFK and uh, grab the drops uh, if you're not there. So make sure you are 120 blocks away from everything, including other large XP farms and or anything. So if you have to put it in the sky, put it in the sky, but there you go. So we're going to start just with an extra piece of obsidian. I think I put four in the things you need. One, two, three, four. One on the ground. This is to keep the creepers from blowing up when you're trying to get that XP. And then just throw a half slab on the bottom of each one of these. Look, I missed one. This is to stop the baby zombies from ruining your day. And then after you've done this, we're going to go up 19 glass blocks. Uh, 19 is good because then 19 plus 1 and 2 is 21. Uh, I want to get the mobs as close to dead as possible. Uh, and that's about it. Perfect right there. So as you can see, we got this ready to go. So what we're going to do is start out by switch these for solid blocks for my for efficiency here guys it's key that you just have a one drop it's gonna help you kill them faster get levels faster so go ahead and put a pressure plate on both of these guys grab your block of choice put it next to it once you've done that we're gonna go ahead and throw a repeater on both sides that repeater is going to go into a block and that block is gonna have a sticky piston on it Perfect. This is going to really help them get down there quick. The whole point is to get them in and out of this farm ASAP. And uh, this is going to be one of the best ways to do it for sure. Once you've done that, grab your block of choice on the face. And now what you have here is nothing's going to go anywhere beyond that. Um, I didn't bring any glass. So if you wanted to, this is uh, the other area. You could just go ahead and finish this up with glass. But what you're going to have to do is make sure nothing's coming out of those holes on the side. So we'll just go over here and uh, do the same. And there. So looking good so far. I think the yellow glass is a pretty nice uh, addition. I'm just going to fix my mic there. It's a little bit far away. And let's go over here. So now that we've done this, what we want to do is make two streams of water that are going to take them to right here so ultimately what we want that stream of water to do is go right over there so let's just make we're gonna put eight blocks two three four five six seven eight that's gonna be one stream of water so then let's go up one and then we're gonna want another eight blocks on top there and we're gonna do this on both sides two three four five six seven eight perfect we're gonna have to go like this to make the end looks good to me and then while we're going we might as well bring this down and cover that all the way to the end so let's just go over here and do this one too one two three four five six seven eight up one one two three four five six seven eight perfect so now let's put it back on this guy and this one here, I don't feel it's a very complicated build. It's just a little bit of work to do. But we're just going to carry this guy down too. And then we're going to block all that area in. This is pretty straightforward stuff. And go all the way down. We don't need that guy there, actually. Try to minimize your blocks because we're going to need a lot. And then uh, let's just make sure that we have this water source area covered as well. And then let's just go cover it on both sides. My game likes to lag lately. Perfect. Go up a block. Done. So I'm going to just make sure this is sealed off, especially if you've done some redstone work uh, up until this point. Uh, you're going to want to make sure. So let's go ahead and throw some glass here. I think I'll work on making this one look a little sexier if possible. And do this one here. And then grab our block of choice again. We just want to make it so water doesn't fall out. Perfect. And then we'll go to this side too. It looks pretty good right now. I like it. Perfect. So as you can see, oh, I didn't finish it on this side. Amateur hour, skip A. And take this guy right here. And there we go. So as you can see, we have a perfect little T shape. This is going to be the induction of mob goodness. So start by putting a bucket of water right there. Perfect. See how it goes right to the edge. And then guess what's going to happen when you do it here? We're good. Oh, I, meant I went too far. That's okay. We could fix. 
take this guy here. Excellent. As you can see, there is no hindrance. It's one straight flow of water, and we're going to do the same thing over here. Perfect. Make sure it doesn't go down the hole. That's good. Awesome, guys. And then this one here, if I remember correctly, I went one too far. So let's get rid of these. This, fill a bucket of water. Perfecto. Look at that we have our stream so now what we're gonna do guys is just set this guy up uh, for our first step in towards mob induction uh, we got all of this so now basically what we want is we're gonna want for the mobs to come into here so our first our first flow of mobs is gonna be right here so let's go over here so now basically what you want to do is take this and put it out seven more And you're going to do that skipping one all the way down. And you can just keep doing this. I'm not going to make you guys watch. Uh, I'm just going to show you exactly what we're doing. That's going to go out. It's going to go out eight in total. So I'm going to just show you one. And then I'm going to kind of time lapse you dudes. Uh, just to make this a little easier for you guys. And then, But it is pretty straightforward. It's not very difficult at all. Uh, and we're going to do this. One thing I recommend to you while you're doing this, guys, always make sure, man, when it comes to water sources, I always mess up and make it too short or too long. But as you can see, it goes right in to this. So that's good. That's perfect. So now what you're going to do is just keep going. And ultimately, each row is going to go exactly like this. Once we're at the ends, we're going to just cap off the ends. And we're going to do a little adaptation of that in a second. Again, these walls are going to be too high. And you could get rid of this water. Perfect. Make them too high. And we're going to do that all the way down both sides exactly like we did right here. Take seven on top of this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in total, all the way down to the end and like this and keep doing this we're going to do this whole platform here and two high walls all the way around and then what i'm going to do is time lapse that or not time lapse i'm going to call a crew in here because i got some peeps that'll help out and uh, when i come back this whole bottom floor is going to be done exactly like that okay guys so we got that part done as you can see kind of looks like a half a waffle um you're going to notice over here that it's uneven because you go one by one. So on this one here, I just filled this little hole. I just like the my OCD doesn't allow this to uh, allow this to go the other way. So basically now what we want to do is kind of offset these caverns or ravines. So the easiest way to do that is is to simply go like this. And what I'm going to do the way I do it is I'm just going to go ahead and cover each of these holes like this. and go all the way down. I'm just gonna do again three of them. I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on and then uh, I'll call in the crew. I had uh, Jaden come help, I had a few different people. Vargas, I think was one of the names, but as you can see, we do this and then all you gotta do is pop out the middle. And if you do that all the way down, you're easy because right here, guess what this is? That's literally uh, gonna be, make sure we do the waffle shape right here. And we got basically that's as easy as it gets we're gonna want to keep this outside waffle shape right here and then uh, do this as well it's gonna be a little bit of a process to go all the way down but uh, I just go through the easiest way is to do these one lines right across like this and then just bust out the middle and then again this is gonna also be too high just like the one below it and then I'll be back and I'll show you how to do the third row, which is exactly the same thing. I just feel like since I'm time lapsing anyway, uh, it's not too difficult, but make sure that this outside wall is waffled like that. And then once you do that, make this too high. And then basically you're going to end up on each end coming in one. The tunnel will kind of move forward one each way. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, do the second layer, show you how that happens. Uh, we're going to start off the third and start putting in the dispensers and we're going to keep on moving. 
Okay, so the second layer is done, and now we're going to do the third. The guy, the guy, What I must say to you guys is, if you really wanted to, you can make this a whole bunch more layers. If you have hella repeaters and dispensers and stuff, you could go ahead and add a whole bunch of layers to this if you really wanted to. So let's just start the third layer. As you can see, we have our honeycomb pattern or a waffle. And now we're just going to do the third layer, and the third layer is going to be easy. As you can see, we want them to drop on the end here, but we don't really. I'd like to make it go in one personally. Uh, so what I do is I'll start over and make the new, the new line right here. And we're just going to do the very end to show you how it works. And so see what I did? This is basically going to be the end of this now. And we're going to move in like a kind of a, a pyramid to a degree, almost a little Illuminati logo. A little homage to the grinders in the past. So we're going to do this. Again, you're going to make it too high. And we're going to keep on flowing. Leave that one there. And let's do the same thing with this. So what we're going to do is put this guy here. And we're going to make it too high, just like the rest of the walls. Again, I'm glad that I time lapse this. There's no way that I'm going to build this in the tutorial. I do have head, uh, help for sure. Uh, so that's really handy. But as you can see, we're doing the exact same thing we did on all the other levels. We're just going to go here. But always make sure that you keep these two blocks on the end of each of your tunnels. It's going to be an easy way for you to see where each of the tunnels are. You know every single block sticking out is a tunnel. Uh, that said as well, let's go over here and finish this one line. And let's get this guy here. We're just going to make it too high. You guys get the gist of this. You don't need me to do any more of this with you, but I will do one more just to show you because what we're also going to do in this time here is we're going to start adding our dispensers. Uh, let's go over here. So in addition to doing this whole level here, the third level, uh, once you've started it, see how we got our third tunnel going? You're going to go through this whole entire map, this whole entire thing, every single one of this. So now make sure you do it in order. I found that it was very difficult. So what I did was I started from the bottom left. I went all the way to the back and then put a dispenser. You want to put a dispenser right where that block was. Uh, so that said, what we're going to do is we did it a little backwards, but it's not that bad. Let's see if I can get it facing forward here. Perfect. So that's where you want your dispenser on the bottom block right here. And you're going to see that very easily. Look at that. Do not, do not, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, do not put your buckets of water in yet. The last thing you need is them all triggering, triggering here, triggering there, doing all this stuff. And uh, it just turns into a big waste. But ultimately, what you're going to do is go to all of these. As you can see, this one here, we're going to end up putting a line. You know what? This will help you do the bottom row. The bottom row will be a real pain in the butt. So you can actually go on the bottom row and do this. If you just do this, it'll make it easier for you to just run in the tunnels and uh, put a dispenser on the end of each of them. Uh, there you go. So now that we've done that, again, perfect example will be, say, this one right here. You know what we do? We go ahead and put a dispenser right there. But again, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but what do you want? You want a crazy mob grinder or what? So make sure that there is nothing underneath them that's key because there's going to be another round of dispensers. So ultimately, there's going to be a dispenser there, there, there. You get the gist. Let's do it. We're going to make the third level. We're going to put a dispenser in the bottom of each of these caves all the way around and I'll jump back when I got that done. So as you can see we've done this. The one thing I'm going to tell you guys, hopefully you didn't pause and do that, you can go ahead and put a solid line of blocks under these dispensers and then place the dispensers. It'll make placing them a lot easier and we're going to need it after the fact anyway. So once you get to the top all you want to do is cap off the top like this. Again if you want to keep going guys I can only imagine in my community Q&A that there's going to be people making this like you know like 10 rows high or whatever you can do a lot high as long as it's not more than 120 blocks away i think that's how you would probably create pretty much the most epic uh, mob grinder in the, in the whole entire game it would be a lot of dispensers but as you can see we capped off the ends and then i had a little uh, art of magic help here so basically we just take this line right across and then we're gonna half slap that so basically you guys want to half slap everything if you want an efficient mob grinder that's how it works so notice we closed off the top with a nice waffly pattern and then what you're going to do is make sure you half slab the duration of it you have to do all of it leave the ends like that but you don't want any mobs spawning on here that's going to make your grinder suck so make sure you half slab 
number one key to grinders. And then once we've done this, I'm going to show you exactly what to do next. Just keep going over. Make sure you do this, the ends of the grinder here too. Uh, go over here, go over here, not there. So once you've done that, you've got your half slabs going, you're spawn free. And then on this side here, what you're going to do is just make sure, I'm just going to make sure I'm doing it the same way as these ones here. So we're going to make this our operational end right here. So what you're going to do is just grab yourself a repeater and put a repeater into every single dispenser all the way down on this one here. If there's no block, put a block. And as you can see, we're good. And then you're just going to go down the whole line and put, oh, make sure you don't hit the dispenser and put a repeater facing forward on every single one so that all of these dispensers all have a repeater facing into it. No ticks, no nothing, just to get that done. And then uh, let's see what we'll do if I can probably, I think we'll probably move on to the redstone now, guys. It's not very difficult. That'll be our next step. So let's get that done and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So. <clears throat> looks like we're about to do some redstone love so let's get it going so the last one I'm gonna put is right here with the repeater so grab your half slabs and get ready so we're gonna want to bring power to all these guys so we're gonna throw a half slab on each end like that let's just go over here <clears throat> this most likely will be the most I guess longest part of the video but not really it's it's a pretty intricate timing circuit guys uh, we worked on so many different examples. I can't even tell you. All those little platforms are different ones. This one works. I bet you if you're a real redstone genius, you could probably make a better one, but this one works perfect for us. So we're gonna go with this guy. So just bring a rim down this whole entire thing. Okay, so the best thing to look at here is that what we're gonna want to do is put three blocks on the end right here. Get rid of this guy. And then what we want to do is bring the redstone signal up. So that's actually not very difficult. So what we're going to do is grab a half slab and put it there. And then grab a half slab and let's just go to the other side and do the same thing. One, two, three. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll bring it up after the fact. Uh, first, let's make our love right here. So first things first, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to make a five square. Two, three, four, five. And then we're going to do the same thing, make it five times. And then on this one here, all we got to do is bring it back one more. And then we're going to make a hopper timer. So let's just go with our loving hopper timer. I'm just going to make an area and we'll delete the blocks after the fact. Uh, right over here. It's probably not going to be that big, but hey, what can you do? So, perfect. So, let's go ahead and put our dust right here. Grab a redstone block. I knew I forgot something. Holy cannoli. We're not going to be speed shifting right now. We're going to put a redstone block right here. Then we're going to grab a sticky piston. Sticky piston there. Sticky piston there skipping a block let's go ahead and put a hopper into the ground right here crouch place a hopper into that hopper go over here bust this hopper crouch into that hopper okay so we got most of a hopper timer going this is going to have a comparator on each side we're not going to put anything in just yet we're going to put a block right here block right here and a redstone dust right here and here so what we have is the start of a hopper timer so what we want to do now is bring this up here so once we do this we're gonna go here and then we're gonna grab our repeaters this repeater is gonna go here into a block we need a torch as well I think I put that we didn't have a torch in this build and the ingredients oops and we're gonna put this torch right there that torch right there is then going to go to a sticky piston which is right there into a block so now what we want to do is carry around basically we're trying to take this signal carry it around so it sparks and just shoots and then comes back uh, let's go over here with our repeaters a repeater here you know what let's go ahead and extend this guy out a little bit one two three repeaters there then we're gonna put 
one, two, three repeaters there. And then we're going to grab a repeater for here and a repeater for here. These two repeaters are normal. These ones are going to go on four ticks delay. Perfect. And then we're going to grab some redstone dust and make sure these join. That's going to be something you might miss. And then once we've done this, it's actually pretty straightforward. Let's just bring it up here. I like to bring a repeater here and a repeater here and a repeater here. I don't know why. I don't even think you have to do it. But I like to do it because it resets my redstone length to go out here. So once we've done that, now what we're going to do is just carry this signal up. So let's uh, bring the redstone all the way here. So again, there's no water buckets in here. That's a key thing you want to make sure that you have no water buckets in here uh, because it'll throw off your timing kind of. So let's go over here, get rid of this guy, this guy, grab a half slab, which I got rid of. Why did I do that? Oh my geez. And let's get this guy here. <clears throat> so now basically we want to power all these dudes. So. What I'm going to do is go ahead and this is always good to test your stuff while you're doing it. Uh, we don't need this. So basically what I want to happen is for a ton of ticks to go down uh, when I power this guy. Okay, so that worked good. We did the bottom row. So the bottom row is good. So now what we want to do is bring this signal up to here. So the easiest way to do that actually would be to do this. Let's do this guy right here. I think we could actually bring that up straight up to this one. Yeah, we can. Perfect. So if we do this, now what we're going to want to do is we want to know that I'm going to basically, guys, I'm just going to grab one bucket of water and I'm going to just put it in this one so I know, I know exactly what's going down. So basically, we want to know that this one fires here. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, what we could do, we could actually just check right through here. So let's turn on this and let's see that it fires. Perfect. So now we, what we want to do is let's go ahead and redo that because we don't want that water there. And that should suck it back in. All gone. Okay. So let's uh, get rid of that guy and let's make sure our signal goes up again. Grab my stone, take the stone and put it back. So now what we want to do is bring this signal up. So it's actually not very hard at all. Uh, we're just going to take some half slabs and this guy, we want it to go up to here. So we can take this guy and this guy and this guy we're going to want to put on the bottom here. Perfect. So now let's just do our little test again. I want to put a bucket of water in there and make sure it's flowing. Let's go down here. Why do I keep breaking that torch or that lever? Come on, Skippy. Oh yeah, you can tell it worked. So as you can see, we brought our signal up. So let's just go over here to the other side and do the same thing. We want to have this guy here and then we're going to put a, another half slab right there. Dust, dust, perfect. Actually, I should have just did that in the first place because then we get to, let's do this. And then what we're gonna wanna do is put a slab right there. And then if we do this, you're gonna hear it go ding, 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 ding. Okay. So now we have now powered everything. Actually, this is very easy. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go through and put water in every bucket or bu bucket of water in every dispenser. The other thing you wanna keep in mind is that mobs can spawn here and you don't want that. So basically put yourself a half slab here. And then for the rest of these, just I would cover the whole entire thing with half slabs like this. And before we do that, once we put the buckets in, we're going to come start our timer. Everything's going to work like a charm and you guys are pretty much there. Uh, what I'll do also is show you how to make the AFK add on to this. But as you can see, it's pretty simple. Just don't forget, guys, to 
to use half slabs wherever possible to cover stuff up like right there because mobs can spawn there right there mobs can spawn there and again all the way on the top of this right here just cover it all um, I'm not sure which ones are for sure spawnable, but I know that whenever I make a grinder, this is going to help you with your efficiency big time. Let's do this. Let's put the water in all the buckets. We're going to come back and make sure it's flowing properly. I'm going to show you how to add the little AFK jobber at the bottom. It's a very simple thing to add. And uh, yeah, so I'll be right back in one sec. Okay, so we started our clock. Make sure, guys, I'm telling you right now. Do not miss a water bucket. If you miss a water bucket, it will be death to this grinder. Uh, that tunnel will fill with mobs. They'll never leave. It'll ruin your mob rates. And then there you go. So make sure you half slab everything. I put 15 in the hopper timer. So we got 15 blocks in the hopper timer. This is a good thing for me to show you is right now because you're going to see that the water is flowing, but it's actually flowing in the opposite way we want it see how it goes water shoots and then this water stays for a long time and then it shoots and puts it back we want it to go the other way we want it to be empty for longer and for the water to shoot for a period of time so all we got to do is change this basically change this signal let it unpower and then do it over again you want it to go opposite way so as you can see now it emptied We didn't do it. We got to make sure it switches to the opposite way. So basically turn it so it's off. So now it's on. It's off. And now we're going to turn it on. Perfect. We want the quick pulse to be water. See? In and out quick. Stays empty. You see exactly that. That's one of the things that people are going to make mistakes on. See how it holds now? Just make sure that the long pulse is the empty and the short pulse is the water. It's easy enough. Just break that redstone and put it back. Uh, and that's it. That's it. There you go. This thing is pulsing exactly the way we want it to. So let's, uh, it's on hard already. Let's do it. Let's get far enough away. You need to be ultimately 32 blocks away. Mobs won't spawn or 28, something like that. So get 32 blocks away or else these last ones here aren't going to work very good and uh, back up as you can see it's already flowing a little love there we go starting to flow that's the ticket so now that it's doing that that means it's working we got our pulse set up right uh, go over here oh yeah and there they go the mobs will be spawning they're not going to spawn when we're in here, but as you can see, that's good. So let's go down to the bottom. We got that going. We're good. Let's go over here. More zombies falling out. That's good. Tons of zombies. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I like zombie villagers. Okay, so the mob grinder works, guys. Mission accomplished. You have this. So I'm going to show you what I do if I want to turn this thing into kind of an AFK. So if you really want to do that, I want to be able to, you know, have like a, just basically a switch that's going to do such a thing. So as you can see, we have mobs right here. Let's uh, let's go back on peaceful and let's fix this up. Perfect. So what you're gonna do is move this up. That's basically what we're gonna do is to make it nice and beautiful for that sort of thing, I'm gonna start like this. This is at least how I'm gonna do it because I don't like wasting everybody's time. So what I would do is go like this grab a chest again you're gonna need a lot more chests. this thing will fill up a single chest afk in like uh, 10 minutes not even uh, put this right there once you see that right there it's a hopper going into the chest go ahead and place your block of choice right here that's going to go into a block it's going to have a sticky piston and again this is a little different way to do the bottom than most people will but I think it works good personally because we've tried several methods to AFK them with lava and stuff and the lava actually takes the drops so the crushing is actually the best way as far as I'm concerned to get the most drops at the end of it you're gonna put that guy here we're gonna grab a pressure plate I'm gonna crouch place the pressure plate right on there so as you can see we're good since this is the AFK part you don't really actually need the obsidian there because uh, you won't be messing with them when they're here. So that's good. We're going to close this guy off. Let's go up and do this. They're going to crush right there. That's good. What you're going to want to also do is grab half slabs uh, to keep the baby zombies out or else you're going to come back to your base and there's going to be hella baby zombies. 
uh, we're gonna have to go down a little bit just to do it but at the end of the day in essence you could actually just close this up because you're gonna be AFKing so uh, let's do this and let's do this make sure you keep that side closed because baby zombies can get out right here as well and we're good so now what what happens here basically is when mobs drop in they're gonna get crushed simple enough looks good to me so that's the thing that's your afk right there i would put hella chest there if i were you and uh, don't forget to actually put a slab here in the front uh, you know what we could do we could just put it right on the side of there perfect so now your afk thing is set more or less um and then what all you got to do is grab yourself a lever and put this lever right here and that locks that so now all you got to do is go ahead and what I would do is just do this and make myself a little platform around it and then you have your AFK area did it get dark all of a sudden and I would do this and then I would go right back to what I did on the first time and at least you know right here is where you need to go do this guy and then what do you do grab yourself uh, your obsidian again and make the exact same thing I made down there the only big difference is you're pretty much you're you're losing two two blocks of fall but actually it's it's really not that bad uh, we're gonna put these up right here so let's get rid of these guys I think it's getting a little dark in here this guy here this guy here perfect and then uh, we'll grab our yellow glass since we were building with that anyway so here again make sure that you have slab you can use um, you can use trapdoors if you really wanted to uh, but at the end of this one here you're gonna have yourself I'll grab some stairs and uh, you have yourself your mob grinder if you want to AFK it just go on the bottom I would probably put a bunch of these we're gonna grab some glowstone might as well make the effort to make it look pretty we'll put one more on this side too with the half slabs right there there and that'll keep you zombie free and there you go you still have to be careful about a creeper blow up uh, but honestly just stay away that's the easiest way to do it this is gonna be really good you're just gonna sword them right there and let's grab uh, this and some stairs that way we can make it look pretty and then what I would do is just basically I would personally just line this whole thing with stairs except for right there not upside down stairs but you guys know what I mean let's just put it like that and this and then I would leave a little tunnel for the first one right over here you could just come to the back if you want them to come right down and get crushed you leave it there they're gonna fall down and get crushed if you want to go XP farming you just leave this guy right here I like the way this looks I'm gonna actually just spend we did this video pretty quick actually so I can't really complain I'm gonna do a little bit of love just to make the front look cool because we'll leave that there to go get your stuff that they drop and And there you go you could in essence just bring this uh, right around the whole thing not like that though we'll do it like this and then around and there you go before you leave for the day go turn this on and you'll be in that'll automatically crush them give you all your drops you're good to go or if you want XP we go up on this little platform right here and it's gonna look good I think actually this is what we're gonna do yay some light so there you go guys i hope you liked it this is a totally unique grinder honestly this thing pumps 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 um right now we're gonna lose a little spawns because we're right here if you are grinding mobs and you want to grind levels i would stand right here stand right here let it fill up go kill them back up go like here ding 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 that would be the best way to do it and yeah, you can you can play with this bottom part here in whatever way you want. There's, it's just nonstop. It's pretty beast this farm, I gotta say. And there you go. What a beautiful waffle mob grinder. What you do from there is up to you. Don't forget, guys, to share this video on social media. Throw this in your Minecraft group. Show some people some new uh, XP farms because there's not there's only a few different builds out there, and I love when I see something original. And hopefully, I'll have more. Oh my goodness, they're nonstop and. And there you go. All you got to do is come here and 
You're good to go. Look at this. Mad XP guy. You're good to go. And the fact that they're in a one row means you don't have to move. No shifting, shimmying. Just stand exactly at the right spot. And look at this. It's not even going to end. Very good job. So there you go, guys. Don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel. And uh, let's turn it back on peaceful. And show some love for this video. Hit the like. You guys know what I'm going to say anyway. So enjoy it, guys. You got your own waffle grinder. Later.